The mighty Centaur is on its pad at Cape Canaveral. During the 1950s and 60s, the Soviet Union, now Russia, and the United States engaged in the space race, a competition between the two countries for superior spaceflight capabilities. Dramatic strides by both sides in the space race give promise of major developments in man's efforts to actually send human explorers into the far reaches of the solar system. From 1957, the USSR scored a series of firsts, the first object in orbit, the first object to hit the moon, and the first broadcast from the far side of the moon. In 1961, the Soviet Union secured another major victory, flying the first person into space. In response, President John F. Kennedy created a goal of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth by the end of the 1960s. Why did Kennedy choose the moon? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The Apollo program would not only accomplish Kennedy's goal, but would pave the way for a clear American victory as the world would eventually watch an American be the first to set foot on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But the journey to the moon did not come without losses. The first planned manned mission was Apollo 1. Tragedy struck during a ground test when a command module fire and poorly designed hatch caused the deaths of three astronauts, Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee on January 27, 1967. NASA suspended future manned missions in order to rebuild the command module and evaluate flammable materials inside the craft. The next manned mission was Apollo 7, successfully launching in 1968. Apollo missions 7 through 10 tested the equipment to land on the surface of the moon. Beautiful view. Is that something? Apollo 11 was the first to land on the moon on July 20th, 1969. All right, Houston, loud and clear. Roger out. I'm clear, Houston. Roger the Bob. crew had two moonwalkers, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin as well as command module pilot Michael Collins, who would return them to Earth. There were five successful Apollo missions after Apollo 11 and one successful failure, Apollo 13. As trust and understanding of the Apollo hardware improved, the Apollo missions became scientific missions. The astronauts studied and photographed the lunar surface and collected samples of increasing mass. Among the program's many achievements, putting 12 men on the moon by the program's end in 1972. And the old flag. Come on out here and give me a salute. The Apollo program turned the aspirations of a nation into reality and inspired a country by proving it was possible to leave Earth and travel to another world. And it is those Apollo missions that have nurtured the dreams to explore even more distant worlds.